hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here the question is asking uh, one coulomb point charge is 15 meter from a second point charge and the electric field for electric force on one of them due to the other one is one newton what is the magnitude of second charge and they have given these values so let's do the first problem and find out that second charge so we know that uh, force is equal to force is equal to k q1 q2 over r square right this, this is a force equation so from this one we can figure it out and they have given the force that is 1 newton so we can plug them right here 1 newton equal to k that is uh, they have given 8.99 10 to the power of 9 we can take uh, 9 usually we use 9 like it doesn't make a big difference so 9 times 10 to the power of 9 newton meter square per coulomb square times q1 so one of the charges provided that is one coulomb so we can apply that one right here and we have to find the other charge that's the question and in the bottom we have the distance that is given 15 meter so 15 meter and this is square right so this is 15 meter square so let's rearrange this one and find the q2 q2 is the question so let's see so here if we rearrange this one q2 is going to be equal to 15 meter square so 15 squares going to be 225 225 divided by 9 times 10 to the power of 9 and uh, that's all we have because these are one we don't have to worry about these things so this is this is the only thing we have now we can find the q2 so 9 times 25 is 225 so 25 so this is going to be 25 times 10 to the power of minus 9 so this is equal to 25 nano coulomb so that is the answer for the first question so first question the answer is 25 nano coulomb so let's do the second question second part second question the question is asking a piece of plastic has a net charge of 2 micro coulomb how many more protons than the electron does this piece of plastic have so we have known in one coulomb that uh, in one coulomb there is 6.28 times 10 to the power of 18 electrons right one coulomb this much electrons so here we are dealing with the micro coulomb so if i convert this one into micro coulomb like in one micro coulomb 6.28 times 10 to the power of 18 times we have to add 10 to the power of minus 6 because micro means 10 to the power of minus 6 so 10 to the power of minus 6 right here so that much electron we will have so this will give us 6.28 times 10 to the power of 12 here we are dealing with 2 micro coulomb so we have to multiply this one by 2 2 micro coulomb is going to be 1.256 times 10 to the power of 13 electrons but here the charge is positive so if it's positive it's protons so since this is positive this much protons we have so this much protons it means the question says how many more protons than the electron does the space of plastic have this much more so this matches the first answer 1.25 times 10 to the power of 30 so the answer for this question is one this one and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys like this video see you next time